how to design a clothing brand website on Vix. Hello guys and welcome to the video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to design a clothing brand website on Vix. Of course, for this, we have to use Vix Studio, but whatever you do on Vix Studio will, of course, immediately go to Vix Studio, like Vix itself as well. So all we have to do is, of course, um, go into login to our Vix Studio and then just go in there and just see how it works. I will just say start creating. Of course, you can always sign in with your Google accounts. I I have a habit of doing that. I probably should stop doing it, but nope. Create with Vix Studio, built for the needs of agencies and freelancers. Uh, you can try Vix Studio, but of course Wix Studio is like a whole different thing than Wix. So you can do it as a part of the agency, but I'm not a part of agency. I'm gonna say um, freelancer. Web design or marketing, you can choose whatever you do. And of course, I just want to create a site. Like I just wanna create a site, nothing less, nothing more. I will say start creating. And of course, as you can see guys, from here, it takes us to responsive templates of Vix Studio. This is like a, this is perfect. Uh, I love this. I will go, of course, to my workspace as well. I want to see there because it, I think this looks better in general for this kind of stuff. And then I can go, go to sites. And after I go to sites, I can just say like create new site here. And of course, it will say choose how to design your studio site. Like this is a Wix Studio site, so it's like a little different from Wix, but basically what you use for Wix. So I can just say like create new site and you can either start from a blank canvas. Like you can, it's basically for those who actually know what they're doing a lot, like who are like actual professionals. Or if you are like me and if you just wanna have something that looks really good, and of course that goes really good, start from a template. It's basically really good. Then I can go here, of course. I can, it's all like, it's the uh, website screen we had before. I can come here and of course, category, type, industry, feature and everything. I will go type and say e-commerce. And after you go to e-commerce, as you can see, I have like fashion, I have jewelry, I have minimal e-com, flower, electronics, fashion, again, another fashion, artist showcase, beauty, and home goods. You are free to choose, of course, whatever you want, but since for this video, we are making a clothing brand website, I would either go with the fashion, like this fashion one, or I could go with this fashion one, depending on what you guys want to use. Of course, um, if you wanna like focus on the e-com parts, like of course the selling parts, you can go with the minimal e-com wireframe as well. But like I said, I would think to do like with the fashion ones, you can edit them, view them. I think I'm gonna choose this one. I'm not sure. Like, yeah, let's let's take this one. Let's go with this one. Normally I take this one, but for this video, I will like show you something else too. So I took my website here like this. And from here, I will be able to edit everything once it actually properly loads up. We will just, of course, wait until it's opened because of course it's like creating a whole new thing by itself. I have to just like, of course, edit everything by myself. And now we are ready. Of course, after we get this, as you can see, there are like different sections to this. So if you don't know what you're doing, don't click too many stuff because if you don't know what you're doing, it might be really, really hard. I will start by taking this part here like this. And of course, like depending on what you want to do, you can like edit everything, of course. Like I can go to this section. As you can see, there are like different fixed heights, the background colors and everything. The background color is white, so it's not important. But if I were to make it black, then I can change the opacity to make it look actually gray. I can change these parts and make it black. Change the opacity again. And now that, no, now that now there are two blacks, I don't like that part. Let's make this one white again. 
make the opacity full. Get this part fully black now. And now when I do that, I can go to the left side. As you can see, like there are like different uh, margins for everything. The bottom padding and everything, just, like the whole about the position. If I do bottom padding um, 10%, for example, now it adds that whole 10% to here. I'm gonna like, oh, I'm not gonna do that much. Let's do one. Because what I want to ha have is basically these borders on the left to have the whole thing. Of course, I can like change the cursors and everything. I can change the anchors and everything. I'm just gonna like go to the up part right now, like this part, for example. I can change whatever I want. I can change their docking margins. I can make them sticky. I can make them pinned. Pint doesn't look good though. Default. Let's go back to default. I can change their corners. Corner changing is a lot, a lot of fun actually because it goes all wonky whenever you want to do something like that. But of course you can like change their um, pixels like this. You can like unlock it, make it like um, all equal. You can do percentage for every single one of them, you can change like corner radiuses, as you can see from this part. But of course we have to like make a background fill for it. I'm gonna like change its color a little, so like it looks nicer. I'm gonna like take a little yellow, if I add opacity to it. Now I can see how different its color is. So when I do edits like that, it will be much more visible it's always like centralized so the edits are always going good so when I do it that way now I can even change its size so I should like I'm gonna click it like that and from here I can like copy the element design use the editor add-ons and everything and of course after I'm done with those I can go to here these is this is the quick add one so I can like maybe add a button here like this it's that says start now so I can like take it, change its text, um, trial button. And of course I will choose a link to add to it. I will maybe do wix.com. Let's take wix.com or just wix. I will take this one. So we can actually just send it to one of our pages and everything. So I'm going to change it to the about page and make its name about us. And when I do that and put it maybe somewhere like this, then I can go into my preview version. And of course, after it's in the preview, I can like go to everything. And if I click the about us page, the about us button at least, it should take me to the about us section, which doesn't exist yet. So we'll have to edit the site and add it in later. That's basically it guys and I hope this video was helpful. If it was, of course, um, I'm glad to have you here guys. I hope you liked this video and if you did, um, you are free to just subscribe, like. I hope to see you guys in the next video as well. Have a great day. Goodbye.